What's happening, fam? I let our movement still moving. Um, this is my what I learned about child custody. Just had a, a just recently um, had finished my child custody case. I haven't got the verdict yet, so I don't know what that is. But I just want to share, put some things out in the atmosphere to share with people who might be going through this or whatever, or thinking about it. Um, I hope you can, if you can't come to an agreement and it happens, that's unfortunate. It's a sad situation, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but here's some things. <clears throat> Number one is, if you agree to pay child support, you kind of, you don't negate your rights for custody, but you kind of just set yourself back. Um, Number two is get a lawyer. Just get a lawyer. Use facts. You know, use paperwork, documents, email, stuff like text, stuff, stuff that can. Cause words are words a lot of times, and I and and I notice you know people that can twist people's words, or they'll twist a, a, a person's words in a conversation and make them about something. That it is not that it's not about, and it's, it doesn't make sense. Um, on the flip side, I realize that a lot of times, I'm not gonna say a lot of times. I think my the the judge I got, she seems pretty fair. I know, you know, she has a fair reputation. And you know, whatever they, whatever that she decides is what she decides. I can't change it, regardless. But on on a, on a child note, um, I would say, if your kid means that much to you, it's gonna cost you. It is gonna cost you, man. Yeah, but uh, it's something in the future that they should know. You know. Like, look, I took it serious. Like, you know, I try to do my best without having to go through this system, but it got so it's, it was so bad that we had to. So, I, I actually petitioned to be the one to take care of you from day to day. You know, I've done it before. For me as a parent, I've done that before myself. So, I don't see the big. I mean, it's 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 work, but I don't see the over exaggeration of how tough it is because. It doesn't make as much sense as people say. Um, the other thing that I learned is, as a man in court, you have to limit yourself. Like, just by my feelings on the situation, and that might not totally be right, but being a father in court is kind of like you have no you have little room for error and other and mothers have a lot of room for it. So they could say, Okay, I spend time with the babies, I breastfed them and all that stuff and that's I'm the one that they love and they spend all the time in the world with me. But they might not even be they might be terrible people, but that's good enough. You know, if they spend time together is good enough. So in, in some ways, and I always question this, why is the time good enough? Because if the time isn't productive, then, you know, you raise kids to be productive citizens. And if you got a bunch of people raising kids to be unproductive, I think if I was raising my son to be unproductive human being, then I wouldn't, I'm not worth my salt as a parent. And I think that works on the flip side for females. So I learned that but they'll get more leeway with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also learned that I didn't choose to play dirty. But I understand that sometimes, not, I mean, looking back on it, I don't I don't mind that I didn't choose to play dirty, but it, it, it it's, it's funny that you might have to because... You really got to prove somebody's bad character nowadays. 
And that's sad because anyway, that's sad because um they don't have to prove you you have bad character, you just gotta see that you're a man, pretty much. And you always you slide it on that, so messed up. But that's what I learned so far. Later on maybe I when I get the verdict, whenever I get it, I'll let you know how it worked out. Peace.